Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I'm doing a plugin review for Happy Forms. This is a WordPress form plugin. All right, they have a lot of options to go with it. You can do a free version, okay, or you can do a paid version, which has a few more options. So if we go to the versions right here, you can see they kind of compare it to the other ones. They compare it to Gravity and uh, Fluent Form right there, which I've done reviews on both of those. So if you're looking for a form plugin, you can also check out my Gravity Forms and Fluent Forms review. But right now we're going to be working with the business plan, which includes these integrations right down here. So it includes all these extra integrations. All right. And one of the difference between the business and professional is the one year of updates for five websites or one year of updates for unlimited websites. All right. Choose your plan for what fits your needs. And once you install the plugin, you can it has a back end right here. You can just go add a new form and it'll populate a new form. So I've been playing around with it for a little bit. Uh, it has integrations right here. All right, so if you want to set up your integrations, you can just come over here, set up the integrations that you need, PayPal, if you need PayPal. Of course, you need to get this information from your third-party website there, from PayPal or from Stripe. All right, Google Analytics is a pretty easy one. You just put your tracking ID right here. All right, and then there's other uh, connections that you can do with Zapier and um, whichever ones else you would like. Now, I am using GetResponse Email Autoresponder so they do not have an integration for the Git response email autoresponder. So you have to go through Zapier, which, you know, Zapier can do a lot of things. And, um, you know, but I, ideally for an email integration, I would like to have a Git response email uh, in integration uh, here. All right. So let's go ahead and we can go ahead and start making a form. And it, this is the activity in the back end. You, whenever somebody submits a form on the front end, they're... Um, activity is tracked here and you can uh, resend it and see the submission there. Now this is a form I've created earlier. This is just a regular form. So you can see you have a title, email name, long answer, you have a short answer, you have um, conditional logic. So if I choose tier two, this question pops up and then I can choose from there. Conditional logic. It's, it is a little bit different from the other form plugins. Um, they have these cool um, tables. These are pretty cool. And this is, that's some different, the slider tab, slider scale. All right, they have this rank order here. So you can do, um, so if you want to rank this one number three, this one number one, this one number three. All right, if you want to, it's called the Linkert scale. You can pick one right here. Okay, on a scale of one to 10, how good is it? Six, okay. And then they have a, this is what they call their signature, is that it's a sign here check with the legal name uh, field. Terms and conditions, they have a star rating right here. So they have a lot of cool different things that you can do for the form part of it. If you just go to add field, it pops right up all the options that it gives you. All right, then you can drag, then you can, you can drag it over here, you can drop it, and then fill out as you please. The conditional logic set up to where you just go to single choice right here. So if this is the single choice, or you have, okay, so you have multiple choice right here. And then you go to your single choice one or whatever one was here below it, and you just go to logic. And then you show single choice if choices is tier two. All right, and that's all you would do. And that's how the conditional logic is set up. All right, and there's also these other tabs up here that you can have more options for you to do. All right, you can see them all right here. You can change the name of the sim button, submit, get access now. Yes, I want in, whatever you want. You can change the name right there. All right, the email. All right, this is going to be the email address where you send the stuff to. Okay, and then it's all set up. All right, the style. You can change up the style. There's a lot of different options here. So it, this is a, a cool little feature that a lot of the form other ones don't have, but um, overall it's it's a decent plugin. Like I said, you could get the free version, but um, you know it's a decent plugin if you want a form plugin. And if you want to see some other form plugin reviews, check out my Gravity Form review, my Fluent Form review, and my Gravity Forms versus Fluent Forms video, and I'll link those up right here. All right, guys, see you on the other side.